Can <laughs> people group in a little bit behind? Faster, now that the squeeze, whatever the word is. <laughs> Come closer. Oh, hello. <laughs> Heard a lot of talk about three acres and a cow And if they mean to give it us, why don't they do it now? For if I do not get it, I may go out of my mind There's nothing but the land and cow will keep me satisfied Don't you wish you had it now? Three acres and a cow Oh, you can make good cheese and butter when you get a cow Control. Second is long-term stewardship, not short-term profit. Three. Increases in land value should be given to society. Three. Proactive community planning. In other words, the planning system we have now, I think most people agree, doesn't really meet the needs of communities that are living in the area where the planners are. And lastly, transparency on information about who owns what because in, especially in England and Wales, there's not that kind of information. So we really don't know who owns the land and who these people are that are determining so many aspects of our life. Who will be the lady, who will be the lord when we are met in the love of one another? Who will be the lady, who will be the lord in the light that's coming in the morning? Sing John Moore and tell it to them all Long be the day that is dawning I'll crow like a cock, I'll carol like a lark The light that's coming in the morning The other interesting thing about here is you've got to remember that a lot of people work here as a catering worker. Many years ago I actually did work in a hotel around the corner and you have to remember how much the catering workers actually earn. And there's no way that anyone could remotely afford to live anywhere near this workplace. And what's worse is the Grosvenor House Hotel was one of the first hotels, the first workplaces, I think, to actually pioneer zero all hour contracts. So Congratulations to the Land Justice Network for both organising today and, perhaps more importantly, organising the weather. A fantastic achievement. Who says we can't organise uh, in a brewery? Um, it is a really important issue because I suppose both metaphorically and literally the question of land underpins the question of housing. I think today is more evidence of a rising tide of anger and activism around the housing question. And just a couple of weeks ago in fact I was down the road at the bottom of Duke Street outside the Marriott Hotel where Savills pause for boot were holding an auction, a property auction. I mean, you couldn't make this stuff up. I don't know if they knew that today was happening or not. They had obviously read and indeed written the script. They were holding an auction down the road and going under the auctioneer's hammer were a significant number of what we call social rented homes, i.e. non-market housing being sold off by the art social cleansers and government advisors Savills to the highest bidder and as if that weren't obscene and bad enough, in many cases they were acting on behalf of housing associations. We got together realising that so many of the struggles we're involved in, whether they be housing for food, for community spaces, for social space, for cultural space, for the environment, everything has to do with land. And the fact that we don't own it, we don't control it, we don't have access to it, and in fact it's controlled and, and owned by a very small number of people. In fact, it's not just a question of private landowners, there's also the problem of the government, because of course the government in theory owns land in the name of the public, but we know with quite a number of things going around in London that this doesn't mean a thing and public ownership is no protection against that that government selling off land for private housing or selling off social spaces like we're seeing all over London. For example, a current campaign is to save the square in Walthamstow. They've had similar problems in Herringay and uh, we all know that this is what's going on. It's the fact that we can't actually even trust our own government 
to make sure that the, ha the land is actually controlled by the public. Who will be the lady, who will be the lord, when we are met in the love of one another? Who will be the lady, who will be the lord, in the light that's coming in the morning? Sing John Moore and tell it to them all, long be the day that is dawning. I'll crow like a cock, I'll carol like a lark. Coming in the morning. Eve is the lady, Adam is the Lord. When we are met in the love of one another, Eve is the lady, Adam is the Lord. In the light that's coming in the morning, sing John Wall and tell it to them all. Long be the day that is dawning. I'll crow like a cock, I'll carol like a lark for the light. It's coming in the morning. All shall be met in the fellowship, I say. All shall be met in the love of one another. All shall be met in the fellowship, I say, of the light that's coming in the morning. Sing John Ball and tell it to them all. Long be the day that is dawning. I'll crow like a cock, I'll carol like a lark for the light that's coming in the morning.